What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube, you know who it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Let's kick it. It likes to run, it loves to jump. No one could ever stop. A big or small body, it will be there. No matter where or when. Okay, so we're in the Moose Mobile and we are going to Home Depot to pick up some nuts and washers. Okay, so I got the 32 inch, um, I got the 32 inch um, pull mount, but I guess. I didn't read the description. It said for monitor, so it, it for the TV is spread out. So I had some um, I had some Unistrut at the house, um, some uh, little baby Unistrut. If you don't know what Unistrut is, it's a it's a box, a square box with a bunch of holes that you can mount stuff to, and they use it for trapezes for. For electrical, they use it for trapezes, for for a mechanical, and they use it for just wide range things that you can thing up in the construction field. You can do all kinds of stuff with the Unistrut. Well, Unistrut and all thread hang out together, and how that does is you take a, a drill bit, you drill a hole in the ceiling, and then you you got to read the plans make sure everything's straight and then you put like let's say it's a a 10 inch duct so what you're going to do is you're going to make the trapeze 12 inches apart then you're going to do that and put one hole there and put and then right across the top you're going to measure 10 and you're going to use your laser because uh, everything's laid down on the ground on how your duct work is supposed to go and then you laser uh, two inches on each side because they have to put the uh, itch on with this installation um, and they have to uh, surround the ductwork with installation so that's what they do okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use the unistrut that I got and I cut it in half it's already cut and ready to go everything's measured everything works <coughs> excuse me I have to go get 12 um, washers for this because I'm going to put a washer on each of the bolts that's going to the TV and I have to have two washers per net. Uh, one on one side, one on the other so I can clamp it in and then I'll have a net on one side which will be the other side and then the, 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 the screw. So. So we made it to Home Depot. As you can see, I got my mask. Uh, we're about to go in, so uh, let's go. So here we go. There's that. Okay, so number eight. SA 30 pack. Okay, so this is what we got. 
We got the washers, which are number eights, and then the, the nuts have to be a number 10 to fit on the eight. It's not gonna be a number eight to go on a number eight. A number eight will go on a number six. You have to go two sizes up with the nut to fit into the wall, into the thing. So that's how that works. Let's go ahead and check out. And I don't need anything else. I, thanks for joining me to the Home Depot. I, yeah, as you can see, I got my jacket off. Um, it's 50, 52 degrees, I think. Let me check and see how cold it is out there, actually. Um, it is 46 degrees right now, almost. So, it's jacket weather. Most definitely. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Um, this is a Vivo stand that came from uh, it came from um, it came from Amazon. So basically what I'm going to do here is kind of orchestrate how it sits in here. And unfortunately, the way it sets to get center, I wouldn't be able to do it. If I did, I would have to uh, put two holes in it. And now I don't feel like drawing holes in this stuff. This stuff is rough. So I'll just move it over just hair. It's going to be off of hair, but that's okay. I'll just go ahead and I'm going to show you down here what we're going to do. So you can get a gist of what's going on. And as you can see, I got everything laid out and ready to go. As you can see, I got everything laid out and ready to go. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to take these two bolts. I mean, two, two screws and these two screws. I'm going this stuff here. Not enough room on this table. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, let's remove those first. And then, I'll show you what we're going to do. They're temporarily in there to get where I want to put this thing at. So. Now I figured out where I want to put it. It'll be easy. So I got all these washers. And I got these bolts, uh, the nuts, I mean. The nuts are lock nuts. Um, when you do this, I would get lock nuts. Get something that lock nut. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. See, can you see inside there? See that white thing? It's plastic. It's so the nut will lock on whatever you're trying to do 
and I figured that it would be good to lock the nut on there that way when I do put them on here they'll lock in place and they won't move nowhere if vibration happens which there's going to be a lot of vibration I don't think there's that much of vibration the way they designed the speaker man the, the sub is, is quite neat so this is going to go on the uh, pole for the sub and it's also going to go I need 12 of them. I'm glad it came in 30 pack. 12 of them. Okay. Alright, so. Let's do it. I'm going to take it first and put it on here on the top. It's right here and right here. And. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. Alright. Goes first. I put washers on everything first. And we'll get to put them on. I pour. Then bolt was in very carefully then the washer then the nut the bolt nut finger tighten then the second one. You want to finger tighten because you're going to tighten them up in a second uh, as you go. Um, you're going to want to make sure that uh, the both of these are on right. And then you're going to get the other one set on too. Because you want to make sure everything is correct before you go tightening stuff. Because if you tighten something and it's not correct, you have to take it apart and redo it. And these nuts, once they lock in place, you can get them off. But they're kind of stubborn, if you get what I mean. They're very stubborn nuts. So, get it on there. And then we'll get to the other one. On there. All right, so here we go. Okay, so I got the, well, I had them on there. Hold on a minute, let me get them on here. Uh. Hey, how's it going? Alright, how you doing? Yeah, you go. Yeah, put it here, put one here. side stick one in through 
take the washer on. Then put the nut on. Then what we're going to do, we're going to tighten her up. What you're going to do is you're going to get uh, vice grips. It works really good with vice grips. And then you're going to bolt it down. You might have to do it a couple times to get the get the tightness down, but the whole thing is to tighten it and get it all tight. And then you're gonna make sure this matches both sides. This doesn't match. So we we'll have to get the sides to match real quick. Um, there we go. It'll work. We'll work it out later. You need to get these and you got to do them all the same way. You can probably get a Oh, that makes it center. Believe it or not, that worked. I don't know how I did it, but I got it to centerize. Which is good, because you need to have a center. Perfect. So what I did with that first one is I stacked the washers. I stacked the washers four high. I don't have another net. Now you could use another net on this. Uh, put another net on the other end and then stick it down and tighten the net onto the bolt. That way it gives it like a like a bridge. But these will work just fine. Okay, that's done. And this funky thing can go to the wayside. All right, now here's the here's the pole mount. So let's get the the TV up here, and let's get the pole mount on. We're just going to use the speak the, the I'm using my microphone pole. All right, there it is. Now Let's do 
this little piece here goes in here. There we go. Alright, so that's that. And then the speaker, the stand, just the TV can go out or open. That's supposed to go up and down, I think. Oh, yeah. And it can go up and down and wide around and any way you want the monitor to go. Okay, let's put it in its place. Oh, yeah. Okay, so check it out. Okay. See where it stands? It's eye level to me. Um, I made it eye level. Uh, this will mirror the screen, and I could uh, do all kinds of stuff with it while it's in the office. Now, the the way it sits, I had to put a weight on it because the stand part. When it's on this, I won't have to put a weight on it because it has almost uh, 77 pounds the opposite side thereof. Now, I like it because it's not pushed the screen. But I like it because I can tilt it and it'll stay. I could tighten it up real good, or I could tilt it down. Depends on how I want to look at the stuff when I'm when I'm making music. Now, the big thing is, is I don't have to keep constantly looking at my laptop anymore, because I can have Zen Beats on here, which um, I'm going to get into more too. Um, I am going to do a tutorial on Zen Beats. Um, so if, if you have Roland products, uh, if you own a Roland uh, a 202, 505, 808, uh, any uh, Roland products, you get to go to Roland and you get to register with Roland and you get uh, free Zen Beats. Um, and every so often, and Zen Beats, they send you, um, they send you more stuff, like they send you more beats that you get for free. Um, like the next one coming up, I think it's Christmas beat type song. So, um, yes, I know, it's it's awesome. Uh, now, to school you on what Zen Beats is, Zen Beats is like Serato studio where you go in and you pay a certain amount now zen beats i don't pay zero zilt nada unless i don't own a rolling product then i'd have to pay but due to the fact that i don't own a rolling product i get it free that's it it's basically learning your stuff because um, getting into your uh, getting into your um, equipment uh, my if something happens and I can't figure out my phone uh, my son-in-law will say explore your phone well that's what I'm talking about here explore 
what you got in a gold mine that you're not even, that you're not even thinking about. So explore your products and get to know your information like this right here. Let me take it off and I'm going to show you now what it looks like. Okay, so um, here it is. This is what it looks like. As you can see, the TV is hanging on there. And the, and the bag back there is holding it up. That is actually my speaker stand. Not my speaker stand, it's my light pole. Um, and the T-bar is behind me in there, but then it holds the rolling bottle of five. But if you see, the position in the TV is over the rolling bottle of five almost. Now I'm, I'm pretty much one of those people, uh, I don't know what it is, but I think when DJs become DJs, they don't have it at the beginning, but they ended up getting OCD um, because everything has to look perfect. Um, and if it's not perfect, you have to make it perfect. So pretty much that's, that's what's going on. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ring that bell for notifications and countless bells like this and many others. I know I just put a video out this morning but let's go ahead and put out another one and let me go ahead and leave you with a quote of the day come here to check today's quotes uh oh <laughs> what does this say what do you expect it to say oh a human being cannot be comfortable without their own approval. Oh, I like this one too. Let me read another one. Life does not consist of, fan of fantastic things. It consists of very small things. But when we have no exception, those small things turn into fantastic things. Peace.